Hi, and today I want to show you a technique I've learned to adjust your white balance very easily in your photographs. Hi, my name is John Watson. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based in Southampton, England. Um, and today I just want to show you a simple technique I've learnt um, to adjust your white balance. Just using a local adjustment tool, simple techniques to show you how to correct it. Because let's face it, um, sometimes you know the white balance within the cameras, you know, using auto is not bad, but every now and then it just gets it wrong particularly in rooms where there's a big yellow sort of cast in the room. Um, I'm going to show you something I've learned. Let's dive right in. So here we are. Uh, I'm using uh, Lightroom Classic uh, to show you this technique. Um, but to be fair, this is the same in pretty much most photography programs. Uh, we have something you can see here called an eyedropper. Uh, now sometimes, as you can see in this picture, I'm in a, I'm doing a wedding here in a, in a hotel um, room and you tend to find there's a lot in hotel rooms uh, that there's just, you take a picture, the camera's on auto uh, and it just gets this yellow tint. Now yeah, we can, you know, I shoot in raw so we could get this um, accurate at the time, like I said, using the, uh, the grey card or, or doing a custom white balance, but this is on those times where it's a busy day you just um, want one less thing to think about while you're doing the wedding uh, or whatever the picture is. But anyway, let's get rid of this yellow tint and I'll show you how simple this is. Now, I'm going to use in, uh, um, in Lightroom, we've got this area here for the white balance. And this is what the camera's actually taking straight off. But I'm going to just pick, I'm going to click this um, white balance selector. I'm going to click it. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to come into the picture and I'm going to pick... Now, ideally, they tell you to pick uh, a mid-grey colour and just click on it, and that will adjust your white balance. Now, obviously, on a wedding day, I don't get many uh, of, of people walking around in, in the grey colours, unless the groom himself's got a, a grey suit on. I tend to find that white is the most prominent, particularly if you've got a bride's dress. And like you say here, we've got a white shirt. So what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to get the eyedropper, and I'm just going to click a point on the white. Bang. Simple as that. I'll show you the same here. So again, I guess the camera here, this is straight as it was in the camera. It looks like it's picked the light up here. So we've got this yellow tint going all the way around here. And the dress has got a slight yellow tint. So again, I'm going to go back over to, to the eyedropper here. Uh, I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to pick a white point on the dress about here. Bang. Simple as that. Now, obviously, there's a lot more adjustments to do to these pictures. But the white balance is the first thing I always correct, and it's ever so simple. Now, yeah, I mean, I can move this around, move the sliders to, to find a point where I think is right, but sometimes it can be a certain amount of guesswork, but just picking this, clicking, and we've took all the guesswork out. Now, this technique works when we have a nice balance colour across the whole picture, um, but that's not always the case. Sometimes we don't get it balanced perfectly across... Uh, the picture. So now I want to show you my second technique which will help when we haven't got a balance. So again we look here, uh, we've got a yellow tint here. Uh, the window's not too bad but the, the faces you can quite obviously see we've got the yellow tint. Um, so I'm going to pick the eye um, dropper tool and I'm going to click a point within the picture and that's perfect so the skin tones now and the white is perfect but look what's happened over here in the window to the left the window we've got this horrible blue cold cast now because of the, the difference in the white balance between the two parts of the scene. So the white balance has worked on the picker area but now we need to do a second adjustment to this picture and the way I do it is ever so simple. I am going to go up to the top right here to what they call the adjustment brush and I'm going to click into there and we've got loads of local adjustments we can do here and as you can see the top one here is called temperature so we can see there's temperature over in that blue area it needs to be warmed up so the temperature there i'm just going to slide it up to i don't know let's go for about 80 or so because that's quite blue um, and that's going to give us a bit more yellow on a local area so as you can see if i move over we have got now a, a local area that i can start adjusting and watch when i click the mouse on this area here now what we get 
Then we just cover that in and I'll show you what this is going to do. This is going to carry out a local adjustment and look at that. It's just instantly taken the blue out of that scene where the window is uh, and it's just warmed it up now. I could probably do with a little bit more. And just down the lines here. And look at that. Perfectly balanced scene. A little bit more maybe up the top here and down the bottom here. And there we go. How simple was that? I hope that was helpful for you. If uh, you like what you've seen today, um, please don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye.